I'm Derek Joyce and I'm here with Paul Onwarda and this is I'm Not The Expert But. This is a podcast where we'll discuss everything from the most complex ideas that we know nothing about to the simplest ideas that we probably know nothing about either. So put the kettle on, get comfy and join us. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, I don't want to sound like a pair of incels going off on fucking Valentine's well, Day. Well, <laughs> speak for yourself, like, you know. <laughs> okay, you're an incel. I'm not. No. Okay. No, um, it's, it's nothing to do with that. No. It's, it's we know it's a Hallmark Day. Yeah, oh, it's know. a total Hallmark Day. Yeah. We know that everybody is pressured into, not pressured, but you know, you get your TV adverts, your internet adverts, your radio adverts, buy mm. this, buy this, buy this, consume, consume, consume. Oh yeah, totally. All that bullshit. Yeah, everybody knows. It's not to do with that, but when I was a kid, Valentine's Day was even worse. Yeah. Because you were under such immense pressure oh, to yeah. get somebody something. Yeah, and or to receive watching, one. If you didn't get one, like you were a, you know, you were a oh, sad I'm, sack, I'm you know? expert. Me in too. dealing with not <laughs> receiving a Valentine's Day. <laughs> Me too. Yes, definitely. Yeah, fucking, I, I wrote the book on it. But anyway, what I was saying to you earlier was, when I was younger, too young to send Valentine's cards or to understand the concept of it. You know, yeah. you like a girl, you're at the age where you like a girl and you give her a kick in the arse because you like her. Because you don't know how to convey. Yes, yes. No, I get you, it. Yeah. I like you kind of thing. You know yeah. that kind of oh, way? Yeah, yeah. But at that age, it was like, why is it Valentine's Day? Because it's when couples... Because he's the saint of love. But without any yeah, actual, yeah, yeah. Actual but, explanation as to but why. But why is it St. Valentine? Yeah. Because St. Valentine is the patron saint of fucking Valentine's Day. I don't know. But that's what it <laughs> is. Of love. romance and all yeah. that kind of shit. Fair yeah, but why St. Valentine's Day? And I never, ever got an answer. Yeah. It was always because it is, because it is, because yeah. it is. But you have that answer now. Well, no, I've got my answer. I don't know if I've got the answer. And okay. it's very likely I don't have the answer. Okay, all right. But there are loads and loads of different origin stories okay. for St. Valentine's Day. Loads okay. of them. Oh, okay. Which fucking blew my mind. Because there's straight one away. that I know of straight away. Okay, like, that makes on. sense. What's, but... what's your one? Well, I'm sure it's probably the one you have there. Um... In six, let me see, I have to look it up because I, I thought you were going to talk about this part and I didn't do my homework. Uh, sorry, in, he was born in 226 AD, right? And around Who? St. Valentine. And he was born in two, 246, but around 269, the Emperor Claudius outlawed marriage for young men because young men weren't allowed to be sent off to war. And St. Valentine continued to marry young couples in secret. Yeah, I do. I have that yeah, here. Yeah. What it was. Well, it is actually, kind of romantic. Yeah, that is kind of romantic. Well, in well it, it wasn't Claudius II. Claudius II, sorry, yes. And he made the observation either it was to his fucking committee, his, his the senators, senators or, whatever or whoever have, the fuck yeah, it was. Yeah. That single men are better soldiers than yeah. married men with families. Oh, yeah, yeah, because they're looking... And I don't know yeah. if it's a testosterone thing. Well, it's not, it might be that, but I'd say it's more to do with, you've, like, you've got something to live with. You're going to be more but, reserved. Yeah, so he said... For, so right? he passed a law saying that, no, soldiers can't be married. And this guy, Valentine, and I kind of looked it up. There were loads of Valentines. Valentine was a very popular, or Valentine. Was it not though? It wasn't just soldiers couldn't be married. He he, no. provi- he prohibited anyone of a certain age getting married because he wanted them for soldiers. Well, I I'm not. Sh- it was no. it was that. Well, that's how I read it. It yeah. was it was that, and it was I don't want to call it a pogrom, but oh. it was the the brutality and brutalization of Christians as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That he said they couldn't get married, and this guy Valentine which was a very common name at the time, said, fuck you. And he married them in secret. Yeah. The, yeah. These couples. And these but he was eventually people. caught. And then he was caught. Someone ratted him out or he was mm. observed doing it or whatever it was. And he was executed by Claudius II outside mm. the gates of Rome. Yeah, he was battered with clubs and then beheaded. Or beheaded, yeah, yeah. Mm. But there's other stories, and I'll get to them later. Okay. And it's all around 
the execution of this guy Valentine by this guy Claudius. So there's loads of origin stories okay. and like our Greek legends that pop up and everywhere. It just needs somebody to say, yeah, but why? And then some weird fucking psychopath <laughs> thinks up an origin story that suits yeah. them best. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, that yeah. kind of way. No, absolutely, but yeah. why is it February the 14th? Oh, I've no idea. And I used to think it was February the 14th because... It's a kind of a, a no man's land. Yeah. yeah between yeah. Christmas and between Easter. Easter or St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, well, that's or, Ireland. Or whatever it is. Well, Valentine's is kind of universal. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah you say it's, Easter it's, and Christmas, so it's, it's another day to sell cards, isn't it? Well, it's it's just that middle, no yeah. man's land between the calendar celebrations yeah. of Christmas and Easter. Yeah. But it wasn't. Okay. From February the 14th to the 16th, Lupercalia was a pagan what? festival oh, okay. that was celebrated at the beginning of at the beginning of history when we started to regard the beginning of the, the Roman Empire. Yeah, like yeah. in around that in around that time, Lupercalia was a festival that's L U P E R C A L I A was celebrated from the thirteenth to the fifteenth of February. Cool. And so again the Christians just robbing a pagan festival again. Although we'll get to Valentine's we'll get to that. Yeah, no, Valentine's Day it is Christian. Yeah. yeah, and as we said, although Valentine's Day shares its name with martyred Christian saints, or a martyred Christian saint, of which mm. there are conflicting stories. Okay. Some historians believe that the origins lie with Lupercalia. Lupercalia. The whole thing has its origins in pagan celebrations, mm. and it. It, like everything else. <laughs> well. Oh my God. It's just. I'm sure we'll say it a couple of dozen times in this conversation. Let's do it in unison. Oh, what the fucking, fucking Christians, Christians want, want the, the fucking, fucking Christians, Christians get. get. <laughs> so unlike Valentine's Day, which is all romance and love and caring and flowers and chocolates and shit. Lupercalia was a bloody, violent and sexually charged celebration. A watch with sacrifice, random matchmaking and coupling. So an orgy, Animal essentially. An orgy. Yeah. So an orgy, basically. Yeah. I love those Romans. I think I like the Romans it, more it was, than the Greeks. It was all done to invoke fertility. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. You know, so I mean, the they, there was a whatever, method yeah. to the match. Yeah, there's a goddess somewhere and, and blah, 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 yeah. and all that kind of thing, right? Okay. Lupercalia rituals began at a place called Lupercal Cave. With the sacrifice of one or more male goats, usually two male goats, according to what I read. Right. Goats are a sign of fertility. Okay. Horny and a goats. dog. Dog? How fucking random is that? <laughs> that we're, sacrificing, we're sacrificing two goats because they're a sign of fertility. Copy that. Okay, I've got the two goats. Look, there's a fucking dog. Who owns that? Nobody. Get it. Get it. <laughs> yeah, let's sacrifice the dog. I think that's, that's the way it worked. Yeah. yeah. And the that soup. fucking mutt has been around shitting away the doorstep all week. Yeah. <laughs> that, dog, that dog keeps sniffing my crotch and humping my leg. <laughs> yeah. Kill it. Yeah. Kill it with fire. Yeah. <laughs> so the sacrifices were performed by Lupercy, which were Roman priests. Right, okay. In the Lupercal Cave on Palatine Hill. Right. So Palatine Hill. It's one of the seven Have me go, wrong, hang on a minute. Because you know the Palatine Fathers? No. Wasn't, wasn't, um, who was the guy that had stigmata? Padre Pio. Wasn't he Palatine father? No, he was a Chapuquin. He was a what? A Chapuquin monk. A Capuchin. Capuchin, that's <laughs> a Chapuquin, whatever. He's a Chiquita banana. <laughs> he was a fraudster. Okay, um, okay, so he wasn't, but the Palatine fathers, if if you Google them there, it'll throw up something about them. Mm. Lupercal Cave is on Palatine Hill. Right, which is one of the seven hills of Rome, I believe, is it? Yeah, which was one of the seven hills of Rome, but it's one of the most ancient parts of the city of Rome. Right. It's considered to be the nucleus, the first nucleus of the Roman Empire. Yeah. So it was a hill that was, and Rome was pagan before Rome converted to Christianity. Rome was pagan. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course, pagan. yeah, yeah. They and I can't remember the name of the, the Emperor of Penguin of Rome. Emperor Penguin of Rome. Yeah, I, whenever I hear Emperor of Rome, I hear Emperor Penguin. <laughs> so I just called him Emperor Penguin. <laughs> but I can't remember who was the guy that said, we're all Christians now. I'm back. Oh, um, 
You can't remember it either. I think it was Aurelius, wasn't it? Aurelius? Yeah, I think it was. I don't know. Google that one as well. Yeah. According to mythology, the Lupercal Cave is the place where Romulus and Remus were found. Right. By a she-wolf, Lupa, who kept them alive. Now, Romulus and Remus were the founders of Rome. Or at least Romulus was. It was Constantine. Constantine. Constantine right, okay. was the first Christian emperor. Of course okay. he was. So Constantine, not Constantine the film. But Constantine. No, but yeah. Right, okay. em emperor Penguin Constantine. <laughs> What's the Emperor Penguin? Thing? Oh, Peng yeah. Emperor Penguin's a breed of penguin, isn't it? Yeah. No, what the fuck you were talking right. about the hell? Sorry. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. yes. Emperor well, Penguin. Emperor oh. Penguin Constantine, right? So he's the guy that backed... Rome to be Christian yeah. instead of pagan. So yeah. that's when we'll we'll get to when the, the pagan festival died off. But anyway, Romulus and Remus were the founders of Rome. Yeah. Or at least Romulus was. Well so the myth goes anyway. Yeah. Romulus and Remus's uncle Amulius tried to drown them in the river Tiber, but they survived. So he probably just fucked them in, but they washed mm. off down the, the mm. river and they, they survived. Didn't get them. And then they were nursed in the cave yeah, by, by the, the wolf, wolf. Lupa. Yeah, yeah. 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 Romulus, who I said was the founder of Rome and not Remus, later fratricided Remus. Did he? Yeah, according to the legend. Is fratricide the right word? Is that like Fratric killing their father? Fratricide. That's, Frat. Yeah, that's killing their father. No. That's patricide. Sorry, yes, fratricide, killing ever right, yes, sorry, yeah. Yeah, Fraternity. fratricide. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, you fucking, Romulus <laughs> murdered oh, Remus' arse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which, on a really fucking vague, tenuous link, you know Star Trek, the Romulus? Yeah, I do, Maybe indeed. that's why yeah. they're so fucking devious. It is, and the Vulcans are essentially Remus. That's, like, they were... I won't race the oh, split yeah, yeah, off. Oh, yeah, yeah, they kind of diverged. Kind of civil war. Yeah, 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 yeah. Civil war and split off, yes. Yeah. yeah, okay, so maybe, you know, it's all got... Yeah. It's their all, home planet is called yeah. Romulus. Okay, yeah. anyway, yeah. yeah. See, and what made me think, when I used to watch uh, Deep Space Nine when I was teenager or, or, or young 20s, early 20s, whatever it was, there was, I can't remember who it was, but somebody had the Obsidian Order. yeah. Who were they? I can't remember, but I've heard of it. But anyway, the Obsidian Order. Yeah. And Obsidian is a volcanic yes. glass that's super like, sharp. That's yeah. sharper than a scalpel when it's cut right. Yeah. And, and surgeons and it's use... Black, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Mm. Volcanic black glass. Yeah. And surgeons, some surgeons use... Obsidian blades. Obsidian blades yeah. because they make a finer cut than a scalpel and it's yeah. a smaller, less obvious scar. It's not fucking deadly. Deadly. That's, yeah. That so, is interesting. I don't know how true that is if you're a surgeon. Anyway, and you mentioned DS9 there. You're uh, off work sick yeah. listening to this <laughs> shite. <laughs> Please get in touch and tell us how far off the mark yeah. I am. Come here, you mentioned Deep Space Nine there. That's just a cheap Babylon 5 rip off, anyway. Uh, uh, Babylon 5? Yeah, have you ever seen Babylon 5? No. I'll do it. No. First ever long form television series. No. Where no. they actually. No, um, me whole. They actually kept the, the, what you call it, plot going right through nine seasons. No show had ever done that before. It was always Monster of the Week up to that stage, you know? Yeah. No, yeah. I didn't watch it. I never watched it. Could be arsed. Really good show. Now, the really early 90s fucking CGI doesn't hold up. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, you know what? You're a fucking 90s nut, though, aren't uh, you? No, no, no. Seriously, Babylon 5 is excellent. Yeah. Like, it is. It's, it's considered one of the all-time great science fiction shows. But basically, the guy that wrote it, J. Michael Straczynski, I don't know if you've ever heard of him, uh, he pitched it to Paramount and they turned him down, right? And then he eventually got picked up by, I don't know, Universal or whoever it was, but because of the delays and everything else, they both came out at the same time, DS9 and Babylon 5, but it was clear to anyone watching that like Paramount had just literally taken his idea. Okay. Fucking stuck a Star Trek logo on it and ran with it, you know? Yeah, well... Yeah, which is, you yeah, know, anyway. which is pretty fucking shitty, but... I, I watched, but I always thought Babylon 5 was better. I watched I have to say. The Next Generation and Deep Space Nine in yeah, my I early do 20s. Like Star Trek. I do like it. Until I was old enough to, and this is early 20s, so I'm a fucking adult. Yeah. Until I was old enough to realise it's just a fucking space soap. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a soap okay. opera. It Fuck is. off, leave me alone. Well, come here, you watched Strange New World recently, didn't you? What? You watched Strange New World uh, there recently, didn't you? 
No, I watched the first one. Oh, the first episode, yeah. just yeah. yeah, it's really good. Love it. Yeah, love that show. Yeah. It's got me right back into Star Trek. Yeah, my my whole outlook on the thing is described in that last year. Mm. Yeah, no, I thought you, no, you said you really enjoyed it. Not sure. No, it was okay, but you know. Yeah, no. Yeah. Anyway, it gets better. Way off the mark. Yeah. Okay. Can we go back to Valentine now? Yeah. The Lupercy are the guys that sacrifice the two goats and the dog. Yeah. At Lupercalia. As you do. Like. In the Lupercal Cave on Palatine Hill, which is one, which is the nucleus of the first Empire of Rome. Yeah. It's considered to be. Okay. Right, yeah. After the sacrifice, the foreheads of two naked Lupercy, so they're the priests, two yeah. naked Lupercy were smeared with blood. Ah, oh, lovely. Gets better. The blood was, and it's obviously the blood of the fucking sacrifices. Yeah, of the yeah, goats okay. and the dog. Yeah, yeah. just make it lay, making that clear. <laughs> it wasn't the blood the was then wiped off with a piece of milk-soaked wool right. as the Lupercy laughed. <laughs> There's nothing funny about that. <laughs> it's just weird. Yeah, unless you're listening to it and going, what a bunch of fucking idiots. <laughs> but, but I wonder how much... The sacrifice and the wiping off of the blood hinged on the fact that they had to laugh. You know, you have to be laughing. No, or of course, you... yeah, yeah. No one's laughing at the actual. Yeah, process, so they so, had yeah, to. Was no. it that fake? You know the way oh, you, can, oh, you can go oh, to yeah, a laughing so group and yeah. everybody, oh, 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 you're like, what the? A fuck? laughing group. Yeah, there's those things. Yeah, look on the internet or look <laughs> on Facebook. Um, there's groups and they there's people that laugh and people. Some people do get something out of it because. They, well, they, they say laughter is the best medicine, so... Well, there you go. Just but go I comedy. just wonder how... They don't just go to a comedy club. I wonder a real how, laugh. how much the thing hinged on the fact they had to be laughing. You know what I mean? Not really, no, but yeah. <laughs> like, so they had to do... They had to, to sacrifice these goats, then they had to smear these two naked guys' foreheads with blood and then wipe it off with uh, milk-soaked wool. Yeah, I know. I got all that. While, while they were laughing. laughing. And I wonder how, if you wiped it off, and they weren't, and they weren't laughing, laughing, it was we like, have to go and do it all fuck, again. we have to do it again. We have to sacrifice another yeah, two goats. somebody got two more goats <laughs> and a dog. So, yeah, I don't know, but yeah. it was weird. Yes, yeah, Dale, very fucking weird. It is, yeah. And only then it got weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so, yeah, it's fucking weird. Why they were laughing is, is so far beyond me, I just don't get. And and that's a bit I went. Because, you know, with pagan sacrifices, you do get all this weird kind of fucking oh, carry yeah, on. But th- they had to be laughing. I was like, is that a fucking thing? That's weird. Yeah, that was weird. Anyway, <laughs> the feasting. Find that and why feasting laugh, no? Sorry, what did you say? You couldn't find that and why the laughing was important. No, like, no, no, it was just that they were laughing. And it's like, what the fuck? Really? What if you weren't in the mood of laughing? What if your dog had just been sacrificed? <laughs> And you didn't feel like fucking laughing. <laughs> that was my favourite goat, you bastard. <laughs> so the feasting began after the ritual sacrifice. Yeah. Hey, waste not one, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cook the goat, cook the, cook the dog. Kill it, cook it, eat it. Yep. Well, after you, the feast. Just say cook the dog. Yeah. Oh, surely not. Why not? <laughs> if you have to even ask that question, though. No, I'm not saying everybody <laughs> should cook and eat their <laughs> fucking dog. I'm just saying... There's the thing as well. I mean, cows aren't cows sacred in India. Yeah, I know. So yeah, they wouldn't yeah. dream of killing them. Yeah, well, cows aren't your best friend, people. man. Come on. Cows are so fucking empathetic and yeah. so yeah. You know what? So killing that and it's fucking wrong. I'm not I know it is. Yeah, yeah. But no, yeah, there you fucking, go. Yeah. Anyway, ritual sacrifice. After sucks. the feast, the Lupercy cut strips. Oh wow! Wait, here it is. After the feast, the Lupercy cut strips called tongs. From the hides of the sacrificed goats. Okay. So and then beat themselves with them. I'd say that came in around plague times when he used to flagellate yeah, themselves. Or when, no, yeah. that's not what they did. Or when the Christians took <laughs> over, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. They then ran naked through Palatine, which was the town surrounding, whipping any woman within striking distance. Jesus Christ, it's even worse. The whipping was hoped to boost fertility. Yeah, like whip her and then get her fucking knocked up, is it? Well, well, if you whip her with the goat hide tong, which I'm sure was blood soaked, <laughs> then she goes into heat, was the thought. Oh, yeah, that, that's <laughs> just, that man. totally gets her horny, like, you know. Yeah, I mean? yeah, well, yeah. you know, 
different well yeah horses horse different like horses, horses of course yeah. some of them enjoyed it yeah yeah fair yeah. enough but Jesus Christ so isn't that nuts yeah well, it is. The, women, <laughs> in the women were said to put themselves in the way in order to get whipped. So it wasn't ah, just two like, naked freaks running around you know, whipping me. Yeah, cornering yeah, women and beating the shit out of them. Like, weirdo. Yeah. But they, they like, got in the way. Yeah, yeah. You know, so they were all in on this festival. They and were sure all it wasn't pagans. painful whipping that it was just kind of playful. Which is a turn on to some people. I know, yeah. yeah. It wouldn't <laughs> yeah. be my cup of tea <laughs> so, now at all. So, yeah, there you go. During Lupercalia, men randomly chose a woman's name from a jar and they hooked up. So you know, be all for that, you know that there's a, a party thing so in LA where you go and you drop your keys into a, a, yeah, kind of a glass fucking, bowl. Yeah, fucking swingers party. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. that must be where it came from. Jesus. You know? So, yeah, there you go. Match it, match it. But, but yeah, um, so they hooked up with women. The couple stayed together until the next festival the following year. Jesus. So they were to they get a free year. year. And then they'd start all again. But mm. most couples got married and settled and didn't yeah. do that anymore. Yeah. So, you know, it was it was kind of a blind dating thing. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. I don't yeah. know. Could have really helped us when we were fucking younger, Dale, definitely. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. Except for the fucking goat dog sacrifice and whipping <laughs> with the... Goat hide tongs. I don't know. When I was 15 or 16, the hell I would probably would have willingly sacrificed a few dogs if it meant I got me whole. <laughs> okay. Eloquently put. <laughs> what so lucky good. girl got you? <laughs> Fuck. Anyway. I have matured. <laughs> over the years, the nudity became less and less welcome. So, and, and the whipping was more on the hands oh. of the women rather than... Well, that's the, okay then. Maybe that's where I'll fucking tan your hide. Maybe that's where it came from. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't know. So, yeah, but, but they whipped on the hands and it became a lot less crude. Yeah, yeah, If that's yeah. the way you want to put it. Another story goes, and this is to do with the whole thing we started this conversation with. Emperor Penguin Claudius executed a man named Valentine on February the 14th. Right. Claudius II had decreed that young Roman soldiers were forbidden to marry because he thought they made better soldiers. As we mm. said, maybe that's something to do with testosterone. Yeah, well, maybe no, they were less I mean, distracted. Like, and how I've read it now, from the article I read about it, was that he actually forbade all people of a certain age, below a certain age, from getting married because they, under Roman law, like married men couldn't be soldiers or couldn't be sent off to war. So he actually mm. outlawed marriage. As opposed to just saying soldiers couldn't get I married. I didn't. That's what My I've take read from it wasn't as fucking marriage is over for everybody. Yeah. Everybody under 30 or whatever it was. Yeah. 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 No, I mean, there was the way there's you can't get married under a certain age. Yeah. You couldn't get married under a certain age if you were that young hmm. or through your 20s, 30s. Yeah. And then maybe 40 you could. Yeah. I that's don't know. basically what it was. Yeah, that's yeah. not what I got from it, but yeah. I can see why he would have decreed something like that. Yeah, not basically, men are fighting age. Yeah. Not that it made a lick of fucking sense, no, but no. you know, no, no yeah. it did. If you're, yeah. if you're trying to build a fucking em- but then em- an imperialist army, it makes fucking perfect sense, though. Yeah. But then there's it doesn't on make the, it right. There's it makes all sense. the generals that would be much older than that that would be married yeah you know all this kind of shit but I'm sure so it was it a foot yeah. soldier thing yeah it yeah, was yeah, fucking yeah, infantry yeah. there grunts yeah okay, yeah but as you said Valentine thought this was all bollocks and married the couples in secret yeah and he then got found out and he got executed by Claudius II he did. outside Rome yeah. battered to within an inch of his life and, and then, then taken his life yeah his yeah. head was cut off yeah yeah yeah, yeah his head was cut off or another variation of it is Valentine was assisting persecuted Christians and Claudius II was pissed. Okay. So the origin story. Either changes either or again. both, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Or it was St. Valentine of Terni, a bishop who was the true origin of the day on February the 14th. He mm. was also executed by Claudius II. See, I think. I read about this Terni Valentine, T E R N I mm. Valentine, that he was punished by Claudius II for something that I didn't quite catch or I don't quite remember. And he was in, he was p- placed in someone's house who was a good friend or affiliate or political ally of Claudius II right. or something like that. And they asked Terni, 
they asked Terni to help cure their daughter's blindness, okay. which he did. Yeah. And then when Claudius heard, he executed this Valentine of Terni okay. and executed the girl as well. Jesus. That's what I read. Fuck me. Yeah, it's all fucking... Okay. Well, I think the one where he, he married people in secret is probably the most likely, given what the festival's about, what the day is about, you know? Doesn't really fit with the other ones, does it? I like the pagan part. Oh, yeah, no, that, that was interesting. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, no but I'm saying favorite. the origin story, yeah, yeah. though. Do you know the... Well, the origins, like, it could be... There was another one where this guy, Valentine, was in prison and he was visited by the jailer's daughter frequently. Mm-hmm. Right. And before he was executed, he wrote her letter and at the end of the letter, he signed it from your Valentine. So he wasn't saying it, I'm your Valentine. And did he start with roses are red and violets are blue? I (laughs) haven't a fucking clear one, I hope not. (laughs) But before he was executed, he said from your Valentine. So it was from your Valentine as opposed to just your anonymous Valentine. Ah, yeah, yeah. So it was his name. So So that's that. So that was the origin of the Valentine's card. Yeah. Yeah, very good. What's generally believed to be the truth is Pope Galasius. Galasius. Galatius. Galatius, yeah. Uh, whatever it's Galatians. He wasn't an emperor penguin. But he came to power in the 5th century. He put an end to the festival of Lupercalia. And soon after, the Catholic Church declared February the 14th, the day to celebrate the martyr St. Valentine. Right. So he replaced the pagan festival with yeah. a church-sanctioned festival, Which much the way they fucking did. With, with every other fucking and festival. And sound and yeah, all that yeah, bollocks, all yeah. All them. But anyway, right so, right, so that's how Valentine came to be. Do you know what happened to him after he died? No. You don't know? No, no. Do you know where his body is? No. It's in Whitefriar Street in Dublin. Do you not know that? Do you honestly not know that? No, no. Yes, yeah, he's in the... I'm not much of a church. The dude. Capuchin Monks, or whatever, what are they Capuchin called? Capuchin Monkeys. <laughs> whatever the fuck you said they were called earlier. Well, Capuchin. it wasn't what you said. Capuchin, <laughs> Capuchin. Yeah. The Capuchin monks in White Forest Street Church. They are Capuchin, aren't they? I don't think they are. Having a clue. I'm just trying to think. Anyway, yeah. Uh, basically, yeah, his his relics are there. His bones are in that church. And how they came to be there, which because I mean, it's fairly random, like he was killed in Rome, you know. It was in the 1800s. There was a fairly famous preacher, Irish preacher, by the name of Father John Spratt. And among his most ardent friends was the Pope Gregory the XV1 the 4th the 16th yeah. was one of his most ardent fans so he invited him to come and speak in Rome or to preach in Rome and he did and um, he was the Pope was so impressed that he he gifted him <laughs> St. Valentine's or St. Valentine's bones I don't know how much I believe that it's pretty well you know why wouldn't he just give him a fucking reliquary or uh, uh, here's he the did, bone of his yeah, little foot. No, he gave him the box of the remains. It's the it's a, a wooden casket. Um, it, it was wrapped in a white ribbon. Uh, there's gold filigree, etc., etc. So yeah. yeah, it was the whole lot. Yeah, there you go. Take seems, it home with you, and that now resides on public display. When was this? In eighteen hundred. Okay. Um, and it it now lies in White Forest Street Church on public display, and you can visit it. During That's normal business hours, Monday to well, Monday to Sunday, really, I suppose. Yeah, <laughs> it's a church they don't close. Yeah, uh, yeah, and it's free to get, to go and look and see it and all that. And I've, I've seen it hundred times because my my partner family are, are from up that way, and that's kind of their local church. Yes, yeah. So kind of you know any family masses and different things are always in that church. So I've been in and out of it dozens of times over the years. Yeah. yeah. So there you go, Saint Valentine's, know. and apparently that they do a great trade now on Valentine's Day. You know, kind of couples coming in and going to see St. Valentine on Valentine's or on their first Valentine's Day. It's yeah. often a thing that they yeah. do, you know. So there you are. Yeah. So, Father Sprash. So, yeah, there's fucking Valentine's Day. Yeah, so, actually, there we go. He arrived back in Ireland with the remains of um, of St. Valentine in November 1836. Yeah. So that's when he brought them back to Ireland. So, there you go. Fucking, yeah. I can't believe you didn't know that. 
No, I That's didn't. Mad. I could, yeah, yeah. It's not something that I could be. It's church. It's religion. I know, I know. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Of it's, all the saints for us to have, yeah, like, we yeah. have that one. It's pretty cool, actually. You I'm, know what I mean? I'm st- still not sure how much I, I buy into it. I'm still not sure how much I believe it. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, like, but then you know, I don't believe I mean, it's religion like, anyway. So fucking power for the course. It's like I think we mentioned before, didn't we? How many different churches claim to have fucking Jesus as foreskin? There's like forty odd. I've never heard any church <laughs> you know, make that. Yeah, fucking claim. there's forty odd churches around the world. Yeah, claim get your news. Get your right, fucking. Get right. your religion here. <laughs> claim to have Jesus. Foreskin, Jesus foreskin right? on display. Yeah, yeah. Get he your was, fucking. Come here. He must have been the son of God. His fucking foreskin kept growing back for fuck's sake. Fuck. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah. I, but come here, that's... Uh, there's someone else as well. I can't remember which fucking saint it is, but there's like... There's over 300 churches claimed to have a finger. That's a lot of fingers. That's a lot of fingers. Yeah. It's a yeah. lot of fucking fingers, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of me. Anyway, look, I'm not going to offend anyone's religion. But anyway, yeah, that's anyway. Valentine's Day. Um, yeah. Fucking, if you're going to do something nice for your loved one, try... Sacrificing <laughs> a goat and, and whipping her with its bloody yeah. and not a dog. Let's not sacrifice. Well, no, pet. Not, family not a goat either. Goats are pretty fucking cool. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but if you really have like a pet goats. dog, let's not go out and sacrifice that and uh, and use its tail to whip your missus. Yeah, no, no. Probably there has not. to be something that you can substitute for the goat. Yeah, goat's big, milk. Fuck a big juicy steak fucking in a restaurant tonight. There hit, you go. Hit your loved one, him or her, with some goat's milk. Yeah, fucking goat's milk comes frozen in a fucking block. There you to go. Kill them. You're, you're, you're fucking killing it. it. You're showing them how much it is. Whack, here's a fucking brick of milk. Another thing the I thought of this morning before we did, and it didn't occur to me at all while I was looking at this yesterday, the fucking Valentine's Day massacre. Oh, fuck yeah, yeah. Now, which one now? Because we're... Well, there was one on February the 14th in 1929, which is the one I thought of. Okay, because there's two that I'm thinking of. Well, you can tell me about the other one. Yeah. In 1929, on February the 14th, in Chicago, the North Side erupted in gang violence when Al Capone sought to consolidate his territory by eliminating his... Expanding his territory mm. by eliminating, eliminating his, his rivals. rivals. Yeah, yeah. Was this Jordan Prohibition? This would it would have been, have been yeah. yeah, Al Capone. Jordan was... Pro- because they were all bootlegging. Yeah, yeah. And they were all gambling and he was just looking to... Gets feet further under mm. that table. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he fucking murdered the shit out of him. That's interesting. That was in 1929. 1929, February the 14th. It's this quite, day. It's quite a similar story to the one I'm about to tell, but only 10 years earlier. 1919? Yeah. 1919. Where? Here in Dublin. Yeah, fucking Michael Collins. Um, the fucking British government had sent in what they called the Cairo Gang. Which would have been the kind of precursor to MI5 at the time, you know, fucking intelligence operatives. And they were basically fucking decimating the IRA. They had uh, fucking, fucking caused real damage, you know, fucking to the IRA. They got into, you know, fucking, they had yeah. fucking moles. Just catching and, them at every yeah, corner. Yeah, they had moles, rats, the whole speaking. lot. So, yeah, yeah. so Michael Collins played them at their own fucking game. And he got a mole inside Dublin Castle. And he eventually got names and addresses for every one of the Cairo gang. And on Valentine's night, 1919, the boys went out, shot every one of them dead. I don't. I've never heard that. Yeah. yeah. Have you not seen a Mike Collins film? Yes, I have. What? You mean that shite one? Yeah, we know the bit where fucking Julia Roberts... 1992. Yeah, we know the one where Julia Roberts says at the end, Yeah. what does that mean? What was it? Fucking message? Fucking, yeah. Um, It means he delivered the message. And she goes, and do you think they got the message? (laughs) It's, yeah, the boys have been out on fucking Valentine's night. Fucking night. Either 1919 or 1920, not sure which, but uh, I'd have to look that up. But yeah, they fucking took out the entire oh, British, British, British intelligence network yeah. in Ireland. Do you know what white, else was on Valentine's white, Day in 1981? Go on. Stardust for disaster. That's correct, yes, of course. And I mean, and that's, the inquest, isn't it? The inquest that's gone on. It there? is currently going yeah. on at the moment. And I mean, it's... If you don't, if you're listening to this and you're obviously, you're not from Ireland, you probably don't know anything about the Stardust Fire disaster. Mm. Uh, we'll post a link on yeah, the Yeah, we we'll have to be very, very careful what we say uh, with the inquest. I'm not going to say it and I'm just going to yeah, fucking yeah. post a link. 
do it's certainly worth looking up if there's anyone it's yeah it's it's a bunch of teens that went to a disco on valentine's night and it burned to the ground and loads of them yeah. died and it's been contested ever since what exactly and started the fire and why it started and it yeah, wasn't and why so many people died and yeah. i'm not casting an opinion on it no. i'm not sharing an opinion on it but i will post a link yeah absolutely now on I, the page do I will check say, it out so hopefully and I'm not going to go any further than that yeah hopefully yeah. Someone, and I didn't want to end on such a fucking low I know either. it's a horrible note but yeah no it is it's, it, is, it's, but it bears mentioning because of the day that's in it yeah no absolutely it does and I think we leave it there yeah because yeah. there's not much more that I can fucking yeah yeah. No, from, from our from our pagan traditions traditions to our to, Christianity overwhelming the whole thing and to Al Capone Michael Collins and our modern tra- yeah our modern tragedies yeah um, yeah so that's that okay do something yeah. nice for somebody awesome folks happy Valentine's Day bye bye